Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to continue taking a look at some of the recent updates to the 3Play 3P2. And today I'd like to focus on the new audio routing capabilities on the 3P2. This allows you to take advantage of eight channels of audio so you can route game and commentator audio and more through those eight channels. A simple but powerful way to expand your 3Play capabilities. So, let me show you how it's done, son! Alright, so here I am in my 3Play 3P2 and I'm going to start to show you how you can take advantage of audio routing within your 3Play system. So the first thing I want to show you is you'll see that I have my four different clips coming in here. Uh, my basketball game and those are recorded with only a stereo audio channel so you only see these two VU meters bouncing and that's just because that's how these particular clips were recorded. I don't have a basketball game I can just patch into real quick so that, that's just why this is there. So, okay. But, uh, uh, so I'm going to fudge this a little bit and go ahead and bring in uh, some eight channels of audio just so you can kind of see how this is going to work. So uh, how you would do this, you'll see what basically what's going to happen is anything that's coming through your uh, camera inputs will also be passed to your A and B outputs. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my camera one settings and go to audio. And like I said, I'm going to grab a different audio source here. There we go. All right, so this has eight channels of audio coming through. Okay, so now you'll see that I have this pane open and you'll see my VU meters uh, on both the uh, camera one and the A output have eight channels coming in. This is just a tone generator coming through, etc. Okay, but uh, on the audio side of your uh, camera configuration, you'll see at the bottom here, check it out, we have an eight by eight matrix for routing your different audio sources. Okay, so for example, if I want to, you'll see, have, again, uh, these are checked from one to eight, but let's say I want to get rid of two and just and three, you'll see over here on my A output that now the two and three channels are muted. Now, when you're recording this, it will record all of the eight of those channels to that file uh, on your camera input. So keep that in mind. It's still there in your recordings, but on the output, it will change a little bit differently. But this allows you to ch move things around. So say like you have uh, multiple uh, audio sources coming through, like the game, and then uh, 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 multiple... Uh, commentators coming through, uh, split their channels off, uh, etc. Uh, if you have multiple languages coming through, another great way of doing that. Now what's cool about this as well is let's say that we have some funky configuration here. I'm just going to randomly click stuff, make it look like Minesweeper. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, I have this here like this, and let's say that I want to go through and copy all of this into another uh, input. Instead of having to memorize what I did, I can just say copy Cool, we'll close that, and then we'll go into camera two, and I can hit paste, and bam, there it is. So, it makes it a lot easier for you to move things around, and of course, you can clear it, reset it, do however you like. But some really cool things that you can do with this, I highly recommend checking it out, and of course, have some fun. And there it is. A great way to manage various audio sources via audio routing in 3Play. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized New Tech product training, I highly recommend checking out the super awesome and super helpful New Tech University, which you can sign up for at newtech.com slash newtech-u. And for more information on New Tech products and services, contact your local New Tech partner, or you can visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work on social media using new tech products, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing all the cool work that you're working on. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon for another episode of Tuesday Tutorials.